Webflow is a software tool for a production planning and analysis. It handles three scenarios. One, a set of work orders with specific quantities, priorities, and due dates. Two, a fixed set of products with a steady demand rates. Three, a mix of work orders with a specific quantities and products with a steady demand rates. Assumptions. Each work order undergoes a sequence of operations. The operation sequence may vary with the work order or product. Order quantity may be small or large. Similarly, demand rate may be small or large. Material may move from one operation to the next one, either piece by piece or in terms of transfer batches. Batch size may vary with uh, both work order and operation. All pieces in a transfer batch may be processed one by one or simultaneously. An operation can be performed by a single resource or it can be shared by a few alternative resources. A resource may be able to perform different operations, but only one operation at a time. A resource may be available all the time or during certain time periods. The above assumptions cover a wide range of production systems where each work order or product undergoes a sequence of operations. Wellflow performs production leveling very efficiently for the above described production model. It is more realistic and effective than the simple every part, every interval leveling method in lean manufacturing. Wellflow generates a schedule over a period such that work orders will be completed during that period. Demand rates will be fully met for products during that period and inventory will be minimal. Fast and extensive what if analysis can be done with respect to addition or deletion of work orders, changes in priorities, due dates and quantities of work orders, changes in setup times, cycle times and transport times, changes in batch sizes and batching rules, addition or deletion of resources, changes in resource calendars and calendar exceptions, training workers for new skills, changes in resource requirement specification or operations. What if analysis, which is absent in lean manufacturing, improves the efficiency of decision making in production? This table contains a work order basic information. The first column is work order ID. It is alphanumeric ID assigned to each work order uniquely. Second column is select. It is optional. Used for including or skipping some work orders in planning. Priority is the level of importance assigned to work orders. It is used for sequencing work orders in planning. Release date is the earliest time the work order is allowed to start. Due date is the required date. Quantity is the order quantity for work orders. Demand rate is the average number of pieces needed per hour uh, for products. In this window, the top table shows work order basic information and the lower table contains the routing details, the details at the operation level for each work order. The first column is operation number. It is a, an integer number assigned to each operation uniquely. Next is operation description, setup time, cycle time, quantity needed for setup, uh, resource requirements in terms of resource group or individual resource for each operation. Batch size applicable to batch process. Batch type is zero for piece by piece processing, one for piece by piece processing within a batch and two for simultaneous batch processing. If the checkbox for same resource is on, then the entire quantity of work order is to be processed by only one resource for the operation, even when there are several alternative resources available. Let us now schedule all selected work orders by priority. This table contains schedule summary with the production lead time in the third column from right. The total time needed to complete all the work orders 
is 193.78 hours. The average number of pieces on the shop floor at any time is 55.46. Uh, this table shows the resource utilization levels during the planning period shown in these two boxes. The second column from right shows the available number of hours of resources during the period and third column shows the scheduled num hours for resources during the same period and the last column shows the corresponding percentage utilization. You could sort that in the increasing or decreasing order. You could also see the projected daily resource utilization uh, in the chart. Each column corresponds to a day. The gray color represents the number of hours the resource is not available for work as per its calendar and the green color represents the number of hours uh, a resource is scheduled on that day and yellow represents idle time uh, of resource on that day. This is the resource chart which shows work order sch schedules and uh, resource schedules. The light gray color represents the resource half time, unavailable time as per its calendar. The dark gray color represents the resource initial unavailable time and yellow color represents uh, the idle time of resource as per the uh, schedule. The hash bar represents a calendar exception uh, which is a, um, a machine breakdown or a worker absence. Each re uh, work order is assigned a separate color. The light blue color is always used for uh, setup. You could see here a uh, batch process uh, of um, work order 1001. When material flows uh, piece by piece, many operations of a work order can overlap as you see here. Uh, stop times of work orders are fixed optimally so that early start can result in longer lead time and a late start can uh, result in uh, delays of uh, completion times and even uh, reduce uh, the productivity. This is the Gantt chart which shows uh, work order uh, schedules. If work orders are started at optimal times, their uh, production lead times can overlap. Fast and extensive what if analysis of a production can be done by making any changes in the input data of well flow. For interactive web demo of well flow, you could contact us at this address. Thanks.